The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. My brain is only a receiver, in the universe there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed, only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. Let the future tell the truth, and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs, the future, for which I have really worked, is mine. Invention is the most important product of man's creative brain. The ultimate purpose is the complete mastery of mind over the material world, the harnessing of human nature to human needs. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation, and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. We crave for new sensations but soon become indifferent to them. The wonders of yesterday are today common occurrences. The gift of mental power comes from God, Divine Being, and if we concentrate our minds on that truth, we become in tune with this great power. My mother had taught me to seek all truth in the Bible. So astounding are the facts in this connection, that it would seem as though the Creator, Himself had electrically designed this planet. Most persons are so absorbed in the contemplation of the outside world that they are wholly oblivious to what is passing on within themselves. But instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have undoubtedly, certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truths when logical deduction, or any other willful effort of the brain, is futile. Most certainly, some planets are not inhabited, but others are, and among these there must exist life under all conditions and phases of development. Every living being is an engine geared to the wheel work of the universe. Though seemingly affected only by its immediate surrounding, the sphere of external influence extends to infinite distance. The carrying out into practice of the crude idea as is being generally done is, I hold, nothing but a waste of energy, money and time. My, 